Now that we've run through our installation and troubleshooting, um, now whilst it is rare, there can be some mechanical faults with the product. Uh, so when you're pressing the reset button or testing the trip sensor and it's not functioning, firstly, always replace the batteries um, to ensure that the batteries haven't gone flat in your absence. Now we did explain this in an earlier video, but you simply put your batteries here in the top of the housing and ensure that you get an audible alarm and the lights on the front of the unit flash. Um, and you can test your unit by contacting the pins on the sensor and resetting the product. Now, when you do this, you also need to check the water flow through the ball valve. And that, when triggered, the Mildred shuts water flow off from your service to your tap. So the best way to test this is by tripping the unit and turning your hot water tap on your faucet and waiting for a decrease in the water supply. Now, this can take up to a couple of minutes depending on the distance from the service to the faucet that you're testing. Now, obviously, when you've reset the Mildred valve, the water flow should come back on hopefully within a couple of minutes. Now that we've performed these tests, if the unit still isn't functioning, there are another couple of troubleshooting considerations. In the event that you're not getting power into the unit uh, or getting a resupply of water to your faucet after resetting the device, please make sure that you contact your plumbing professional immediately uh, and have them replace the unit. Now, if the unit has been installed within the last 12 months, this product will be within its warranty period and will be replaced at no charge.